Hi guys, welcome back to Subnautica. You might notice I got my stats for nerds back on the screen. That's because now we are going to start actively hunting my precious schematic that I want so badly. And it just so happens that I have the coordinates for a few wrecks where I might find my precious schematic I'm looking at so much. So, we're looking for 2588615. The middle one of those numbers happens to be depth. So, that one's not too important. We're looking at 25615, which... Oh, wait. Hmm. 25, negative 615. No, that one's a little further away than I'd like. Looks like the closest to me is probably 270, 85, 70. 285, 80, 280, 270, 85, 70. So again, the 85 is not important at the moment. 270, 70. So I got a lot of swimming in one of these directions to do. But another one, not so much. So, that one looks like it's basically right under the aurora. But how do I make you go back down? You go back down, yeah. Okay, so 70 is right about... I'm going to keep wiggling back and forth because these coordinates don't make the most sense. But I do see how it's changing here. We're looking at the general direction of the aurora for our goal here. Okay, wiggle back this way. Because it looks like you're never on a direct course along just one coordinate path. Okay, I passed it. Should be somewhere down there. Should be a wreck. I want to breathe first. Oh, down at a depth of 85. If this works out, we're going to get my precious battery charger. Precious. Or my darling jar, for those who've watched Ruin Soldier. My drawing jar. That's a laser cutter fragment. That's not what I'm looking for. I am looking for something very lovely that will make my life infinitely better. Infinitely better. And I'm going to just indiscriminately loot the metal salvages down here and copper if it, come, if it comes out of this limestone junk. It did indeed. I think I found this wreck before, actually. But it said there should be battery charger fragment at this wreck. It really did, guys. <laughs> Am I just dumb and not seeing it? Well, earlier when reviewing the footage from... No, you don't, Frando. I don't see where you are. I don't trust you. I don't trust you one bit. I trust the Reefies. <laughs> okay, so stats for nerds are off the screen, because we found this wreck. We actually found this wreck on our own. Floaters. Floaters are actually kind of cute. I'd love to have one in an aquarium, but I heard they wreck aquariums. Something about how they pull anything they're into the surface of the water. Is that part of the wreck still? Is that maybe the case I'm looking for? 
Hello? Is it you I'm looking for? No, you're just a patch of grass. Oh. Uh, can always use more salt. Hush you. I'm not here for you. You're not here for me. We're just here, and things are going badly. Hi, Reefies. I'm here more for the Reefies than for you. More silver. I always could. I can always use more silver. If this doesn't pan out, if my whole... I suppose you could call it cheating if you're a jerk and don't believe in finding things rather than randomly swimming around screaming at sharks. Let's just scan this while I have it here and go about my business of getting eaten while trying to find a battery charger. Because I've done, what, three episodes now? Just, hey, 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 stop chasing me. Stop trying to eat me. <laughs> See, that's exactly what I'm saying. I've done three episodes now where all I've been trying to do, well, I've done three episodes total, but in all three, all I've been trying to do is get to the point where I can recharge my batteries. But the game says no. Oh, I also finally noticed something I should have known pretty much all along about how I, you can, if you have your scanner in hand, when you find one of those outcrops, you just smash it with one hit rather than having to clink 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 against it so that was neat that's helpful but it's not a battery charger okay so I found one wreckage among the lists that I looked up and it do not have battery charger I'm going to keep looking though because I need battery charger because not just my sea glide, but also my scanner, my habitat builder, they all eat through batteries. A lot. Hi, Reefies. I'm finding sandy outcrops more often, so I don't need to break barnacle off your back so badly. I mean, I still will if you guys need the favor, because I know how pesky barnacles can be. Actually, I don't really. Hmm. What's the next nearest one to me? It would be 315, 215. Again, the depth doesn't really matter so much, but for the sake of knowing all the information, guys, the depth for the uh, next one is a 90. So 315, 215. That's what we're looking at. I think that's the nuclear waste disposal I already scanned. So let's go to 315, 215, get my stats for nerds back up, and navigating. It's only a depth of 90, so it won't even get me to my you can't breathe part of the everything. Hey, why is my. Let's call that the X coordinate because I don't know. Why was that going down? I got another radio broadcast. If this doesn't pan out, I'm just going to go look into all those radio broadcasts. Here's that the other racket. Depth 90 meters. Leading to an unknown environmental biome. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I'm not passing 100. Hey, 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 hey. Stop that. I need to be here. Go away. Okay. He showed up, tried to eat me. We all had a good time. But now I'm over it. Go away. I got a knife. In that case, that is actually a threat, not a... I will fight you to the death for the opportunity to have my battery charger. That's a trash can.
Whoosh! Well, I see a sea moth fragment, that'll help out. Because that'll put me at 2 out of 3 instead of 1 out of 3. But. 30 seconds. Don't I look what I'm doing? Know what I'm doing, computer? Nope. <laughs> in case you wanted to know, yes, Kiersey's in the background. <laughs> Disembodied voice from nowhere, huh, sweetie? Yep. <laughs> yeah, she told she she told me she wanted me to move my butt so she would be off camera because she's not technically in the video because she's not sitting next to me playing or even sitting next to me watching me play because she wanted to make more progress on her Mega Dimension Neptunia game which I'll admit it's an okay game it's kind of cute I thought we saw a sea moth fragment while I was while I was being a dork oh no it's a bioreactor fragment well that works too. Come on. Scan. But it has to. It has to scan or go to its room like a good boy. That's also a bioreactor. Well, I'm gonna have a bio I'm gonna have the ability to make a bioreactor. And I'm gonna go back up for air. God, I'm gonna use all of my bet all of my battery that I currently have in here just up and down and up and down for air. So I can scan out this whole thing here. But hey, I finished a bioreactor blueprint. We can look at that in a bit. 30 seconds. Yeah, I know. Zoop a doop a doop. And the And whoever posted these coordinates lied to me. That's not a depth of 90 meters. That's a depth of 116 meters. I can't breathe that deep. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Is there anything inside here? Other than certain death because I'm cornered now? Whoa. Hi, friendo. Friendo. Ow. Go ahead. Take a bite out of crime. My name is now Crime, I guess. <laughs> That's another bioreactor fragment. I already got you. Yes, I can get more titanium scanning bioreactor, more bioreactor fragments. But I want... No. I want to not get eaten by all these sand sharks that seem to think I'm delicious. Go away. I have business here. Fine. Scan you. 30 seconds. And I have to go back up for air. Use this to push me up faster. God. I run out of air so quickly. Maybe I should make an oxygen tube leading right down to where I need it. Because breathing is good. Oh dear, I might actually... No, 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 no! Blacking out, guys! Oh! Whoo! Close call! Close call, but the Icarus is fine. Well, I'm not fine. I'm a little bit hurt. I'm a little bit... I'm very thirsty. Okay, we're going to scan this, even though I think I already scanned one. No, I did not. And I think I saw... Not that I want to go over here where it's still so deep and stuff, but I think I saw on my way up last time... <sighs> go away! Don't want to deal with you! And you and your nonsense. No, I did not. I did not see a thing that was good for me.
So this one turned up a no too. That is so sad. Hi, floater rocks. <sighs> we'll try one more, guys. We'll try one more, and then I'll just get to back to checking life pods and for other survivors and everything. Give me a chance, guys. I think I might know what I'm doing. Maybe. Possibly. Stats for nerds back up. Because I am that thing that I said. This one says it should be at 66 meters deep, so I should be able to breathe fine. Well, not necessarily breathe fine, but hold my breath fine. 32431. Okay, so first I need to get into a position where both numbers be going up. 32431. Because I need to be going more this way than that. Uh, what? No! Third number! Why are you so weird, third number? I can't seem to get you to go up without putting the other number going up. <sighs> and now I'm getting that number below 300. Okay. Turns so both numbers go up at the same time. Can I? Can I? Can I? Okay, here we are, on a course for death. We're just gonna, we're gonna hear a Reaper Leviathan scream and I'm gonna crap myself and cry and... Wait, what was the... Why? Why did you turn off on me, guide? 32431. Okay, we're on a course, we know where we're going, 32431. Then straight down, it should only be 66 feet. But I think I'm swimming out to death. I know it's dark, getting dark out, and that's never a good sign. Uh, don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Oh, okay. We're nearby the Aurora. Again, I don't like this. Okay, now I need to get you guys to go down. But I need to get the th third one to go down a lot faster than... God, let me just stay up with water! Oh, come on. I can't get into a position where... Are the coordinates relative to the aurora? Because... This is the closest I can seem to get to 32431. Okay. There's a wreck down here. This isn't quite the coordinates that we had, but there is, in fact, a wreck down here. Oh, it's a big one. Okay, first, let's see what we can find around the wreck. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Ow! Biteys! Oh, I actually got a solution for biteys. They're little fish, so they'll actually get caught in the grab trap. So will the metal salvage, apparently. A sea moth fragment. And this one was also lying to me. Our cheaty coordinate, guys. Okay, not cheaty. It's not really. Oh, tiger. Plants. Ow. Even the plants are trying to kill me. <laughs> See those ne those nettles? They're actually being shot at me by the tiger plants. Not friendly. 
Oh dear, my batteries. I need to go make more batteries. Bitey, go away, Bitey. Don't want none of ya. No, why did I stop going up? Because I stopped holding back. I know I need to seek food intake, but I'm trying so hard to find battery recharge station. Because it'll make my life a million times better to have battery recharge station and to recharge the batteries I have than to constantly build more batteries. What are you? Are you important? You are nothing. Okay. Guys, I know you can't say anything because this is a recording in the past, but remind me to get my grav trap before I head back before I head back home. Because I have a feeling I'm gonna be liable to forget that. <sighs> Only place left to check is inside the wreckage. There's another scanner room fragment. But I think I'm passing one hundred meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. No, let me. There. I did something good this episode. I completed my blueprint seamoth. My I completed my blueprint seamoth. I completed my seamoth blueprint. Oh, I think I got water on me, actually. I don't think I was dumb enough to put it away. 30 seconds. Yeah, I'm above 30 meters, so I don't even need to use my sea glide to get up this remaining however long. 14 meters. 10 meters. Air! Okay, so if nothing else, I did manage to complete the blueprint for the sea moth, this, this uh, recording, this video, this episode, if you will. <sighs> And now the point in the episode where I just get death by stupid by stupid. Battery charger fragment. Okay, I just need to find one more of those. Ugh. Propulsion cannon fragment. Goody goody goody. Battery charger fragment. The quest is done. I have battery charger. Well, I can make battery charger. I don't have it yet. Why is it so loud in here? Okay, so now I just need to drink something so I'm not dying. I'll have to return to this later. Ah, I'm hitting a roof. Seek fluid intake immediately. Yeah, let me up to the surface so I can drink water without dying in salt water. Ah, that's all that I wanted. I'm probably still going to make another battery or two or four or something like that, but I just wanted to make sure that the batteries I have are going to essentially, are going to end up being enough. I dropped that Voice instead of drinking it. bottle of water. I didn't mean it. Oh well. I can let that one sink to the depths. It's my own fault anyway. Do I look like I th I think ahead enough to have done that on purpose? Okay. I missed it. I swam right by my grab trap and missed grabbing it. Grab trap. Okay. Now back home. The grab trap is the precious in this game. <laughs> there. Back home. Oh, I'm out of batteries on my... Okay. We've got a long and slow swim back home, guys. So, what did you do today? I learned a new position at work and did, like, four videos of Subnautica because I'm getting quite addicted to this game. <laughs> But you can say the same thing with Kiersey and her 
and her mega mega dimension Nectu Neptunia. The Neptunia series, I think, has like four, maybe eight games in it already, and they're not slowing down. They just try to find ways to make it more cute and nonsensical each game. <laughs> just like the Disgaea series, they just try to get they just try to get more and more just nonsensical each time to the point where a friend of mine showed me the most recent one, and I hadn't played any of the previous ones. And I just had to look at him like he was speaking utter gibberish when he was talking about throwing these penguin-like things at people because they're basically living bombs and all the stupid. Yeah. Prinnies! That's what they're called. That's what the penguin things are called. They're called prinnies, and they have basically nothing for attack, but they usually have pretty high health. And what, you, what happens is if you throw one, they explode and deal their health and damage to all enemies within a certain range. Yeah. And there was one apparently special event printing with absurdly high health that could one hit kill basically anything but a boss monster. <laughs> yeah. But I forget whether he said that you lose the printy after you throw it if you throw if you throw a printy and it explodes. And if you do, that seems kinda, you know dumb and because that means that if you ever actually use that of that special event printy, then he would have no printy. He would be out a special event thing he can never get again because he wanted to make big boom. Not that I don't. Not that I blame him. Big booms are sometimes fun to make. Boom, boom, boom. Welcome okay. aboard, Captain. Oh, we may as well listen to the new radio broadcast while we're making things. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you taste is a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the last. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for some part. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Okay, now, wait, I don't need, well, I do need a fabricator to, um, 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 what are they gonna, I was gonna make another battery, that's for sure. I need pla acid mushrooms. But before I make that, let us, battery charger, wiring kit, copper wire, and titanium. I can make all that but the wiring kit. <laughs> okay, so I need a copper wire. The wiring kit's going to need... What is a wiring kit? It's just two silver. I has no silver. I can have silver, please. Ooh, I can make plastic like this now. Okay. So I need to go out on a silver gathering expedition, and for the sake of my sea of being able to use my sea glide for this expedition, I will have to make another battery. But we were, we've been over this. Dead batteries are not the end of the world. I just feel like they are until I can actually make my thing. Okay. Drinky drink. Drinky drink. Now I need to go eaty eat. Oh, I got some copper wire. Well, looks like I'm going to need to go get, get more copper because I just used up last of my copper making copper wire. But we got plans, guys. We will figure this out pronto. And there's a peeper swimming through the thin air of my base here. Okay, I got nothing but my tools on me now. I need food. I don't want to eat my nutrient blocks, so I'm saving them for when I make a trip to the island. Okay. So, for a battery, 
I need two of those and one copper ore. Copper shares the limestone blocks with titanium. I suppose I should food first because otherwise I'm going to die and we don't want me to die. At least I like to pretend we don't want me to die. I imagine there are some of you watching just one, just thinking, you know, I haven't gotten to see Icarus die in a while. I want to see that happen. Let's see more of that. For sure, of course. I don't need metal salvage. I've got plenty. Boom, boom, boom. Food! I don't care what kind of fish you are. You are food. Paper. Paper. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my stomach. It always lags when I get close to the fish. And I mean, I blame it on lag, probably because I'm bad at games. Paper, paper, paper. The papers really don't like me. I mean, sure, I'm trying to eat them. I'm a predator. They're trying to run away because they value their lives. But those fish in particular are very good at running away from me. That's com there we go. Got myself food. That's 60 food once I go inside and cook them. I guess I'll use Steve. We haven't gone we haven't gone to Steve for a while and he might have another med kit for me. Okay, he does. Now, can you cook me these three fish that I caught? And refill my foodness. Uh, I'm gonna need to catch another bladder fish in a, mo in a bit to get more health. I mean, more water, because these eat away your H2O. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. There now. Limestone. I didn't even look at what I need for my for my sea moth. I know a power cell is part of that blueprint. And I'm pretty sure a titanium ingot is part of that blueprint. That's titanium. I need a copper. Because I was a fool. Used all my copper. That's metal salvage. That'll turn into titanium, not copper. I need copper. I don't really want to go into caves because the crash fish going to catch me. Ooh, can I catch you without my grav trap out? Ugh! That was going to be my achievement for the day. Like, for the whole day. Bladderfish, bladderfish, where are you going? Bladderfish, bladderfish, I'm sick of not knowing. There we go. Got a little more food and water ready for me when I head back. It'd be nice if there were some things that I could that after I have them scanned, I can scan more fragments of if I find them to get copper instead of titanium, or just any way to reliably get copper without having to be late in the game and in the deep dark, deep dark, as Jack calls it. Copper, mine. I can make battery. I can have sea glide running. So I can have an easier time going to farm the silver for the wiring kit for me to make the battery charger. See, there is a clear plan in all this, and I am going the wrong way to 
Steve, where'd you go, Steve? Oh, there you are, Steve. I lost Steve for a moment. But only for a moment. Okay, so, yeah, there are also life pods for me to investigate. Which, I hope I can have my battery station and the life pods. Both would be nice. Okay, first off. Water. And nom nom. And battery. Okay. Everything's back online. Because food, water, battery. Put you back on there. And I'm sure I will need this, oh, this. I will need a battery for some pattern, well, some blueprint, somewhere, for a reason and stuff. But let's check. Glass steel ingots. It's fine. Wire ingot. Silver. Propulsion cannon. Cannot make yet. Seamoth. Two glass. <gasps> I could actually make my Seamoth right meow. I don't think I want to because then I'll be on an ever ending quest for a power cell recharge station. Which, uh, if I can't, if I had this much of a hard time finding a way to recharge normal batteries. <laughs> In any case, I'm going to leave this episode off right here. Probably kick off with the just the joyous that we found the we got the blueprint. It's good. And then immediately go get into recording another one where I'm going to go through gathering the resources to make it or I'll just I'm I'm going to go gathering off camera, but I'll record start recording again when I make it and then go visit one of these life pots. See you guys in a bit. Bye-bye.